yes, I'm going to go ahead and record because I think I have a way of uploading it on YouTube. Okay, perfect. Wonderful. Okay, so thank you so much, you guys, for joining us. Before I get started, I just want to say that I have been in the company for 21 years. I started when I was 12, so you guys don't have to do the math. Um, it's really been a, a wonderful experience. As I started in the air department, and then I went from air to hotel operations to uh, flight operations, emergency travel team. Uh, I went and I was doing crew logistics, and then I went into sales, and they asked me if I wanted to do Royal Celebrity. Celebrity is the brand that I ad identify with. I absolutely love cruising on Celebrity. I go on my personal vacations with my five children on board a Celebrity cruise. They love Celebrity. They'll never give it up. And, um, and so that's why I love it. I'll share a little bit about the company and, and why I feel that, that we're so special and unique and different from the rest of the competition. And then um, also working with Tammy. I got this position in, in October of 2019 and Tammy was one of the first agents that reached out to me to do an event. And I flew um, over to Fort Walton to, to do an event with her. She is an absolute professional in every sense of the word. She cares so much about her customers. Uh, if one thing, if you didn't know before how important your travel partners were, I mean, this pandemic has, has to have taught you that there's, it is so important to have a travel advisor that is so responsible and so responsive the way that Tammy is. Her follow-up, her diligence, making sure that the FCCs are, are issued. That I mean, she is a professional, again, in every sense of the word. So I love working with her. Anytime she calls me, I'm available. I, I make myself available to come because um, she's great. She loves our brand, and, and we love our partnership with, with Tammy. So without further ado, we're gonna get right into it. We're gonna talk a little bit about healthy return to service, tour our ship, ships uh, briefly, some of the world destinations. You know, I just took a couple of highlights of where we're gonna visit in 22 and 23, our big promotions, and then additional onboard credit offers and amenities um, for some of the sailings. So there's a new world that is waiting and we have taken this pause very seriously. We have actually um, gotten uh, with this healthy return to service uh, team of medical experts um, that basically have put together this action plan um, that is categorized in five different aspects, prevention, mitigation, destinations, mobilization, and validation. And they've presented this over to the CDC um, basically every single step of what they will do point a all the way to z to make sure that we keep you guys very safe while you're on board so we have opened up and you know there's layers of protection and shared responsibility number one there will be face coverings for guests that are two years or older they'll be required in the indoor areas a lot of the things that you see now in restaurants where you walk in with your mask and then when you're seated, you're able to remove your mask. In the open air areas, you're not gonna have to have the mask on. And um, you know, everyone will be required to have their vaccine on board. Um, there's gonna be physical distancing. There's gonna be placings on the floor that shows how you can distance from, um, from other guests. There'll be reduced capacity. We're only going at 50% capacity. So there'll be a lot of space um, for you on board the ships. Also something that we were already working on before uh, the pandemic was this Muster 2.0. And it is super incredible because you'll be able to download this app on your phone. It takes maybe five minutes for you to do what you used to have to go over and, and sit at the lounge and wait. You don't have to do that anymore. It's a thing of the past. You're able to do um, and, and look at the safety information from the comfort of your phone. And for those people who don't have a smartphone and don't want to do it through the phone, you'll be able to do it, your muster drill, through the, your interactive stateroom TVs. So it's going to be a faster, more personal approach. There's going to be higher levels of safety, four simple process. You don't have to worry about the large crowds. It's just going to be added flexibility for you. And so what makes... Celebrity cruises, so special, so unique, so different, is these five pillar of distinction. And with these five pillars, we really focus on what you want 
most. And so the first pillar would be destination delivery. We visit iconic sites and we personalize local experiences for our guests. We cover the seven seas like no other, visiting 77 countries worldwide and we visit over 300 itineraries. Also, we've added more and more overnights because that is what we hear our customers want. They want more times in these, in these places. Our second pillar would be design excellence. We partner with world-renowned architects and designers that create these amazing, modern, new luxury ships. And we have a lot of industry first. I mean, we're the first company to have real grass at sea. We're the first company to have a magic carpet, right? That becomes a different destination depending where you are. So beautiful, beautiful design excellence um, with these architects that we partner with. Our third pillar would be world-class accommodations. We take charge of having you on board very seriously. We know that it's your home away from home and we want you to be in maximum comfort. And so if you look at the design of our staterooms, and I'll just use the Celebrity Solstice class as an example, the Solstice class staterooms, the, the staterooms were designed by five women, okay? And women just in general were very intuitive. So when you walk inside these staterooms, what you notice is that the beds are higher off the ground, right? For, for space for your luggage to go under. You have the compartment space over the bed. That's actually where I hide all of my shoes that I bring on, on a cruise, right? The bathrooms, the, the showers are rounded. You don't have to worry about that curtain sticking to your leg, right? You don't have to shimmy to the other side because since the beds are rounded, there's a lot of space for you to move about your cabin. So again, very luxurious accommodations, whether you're in an interior stateroom or uh, one of our retreat suites. Our fourth pillar would be culinary expertise. We already have a five-star Michelin chef, Cornelius Gallagher, and now we've partnered with Daniel Balud, which is also a five-star Michelin chef, and he has you know, incredible restaurants around the world. And so we're creating next level dishes for our guests all over our ship, but in specific in Lumine, which is the sweet, uh, the sweet retreat class um, a dining um, venue. And then the fifth pillar would be holistic wellness. We've partnered with Goop, which is the line for the Gwyneth Paltrow. And we have these spa inspired aqua class state rooms with cutting edge treatments for all of our guests. So very excited to announce for those of you that are not aware is that the Celebrity Millennium and the Celebrity Apex are going to be sailing very, very soon, starting June 5th. And so, again, just going over the protocols and what is going to be expected for the guests that want to join, any guest that's 18 or older will have to be vaccinated and also provide a PCR, negative PCR test uh, within 120 hours or five days. All guests are going to receive an antigen test before the end of the cruise. The night before the end of the cruise, everyone will receive the antigen test. Every single crew member on board the ship will be vaccinated. And again, 50% reduced capacity. Okay. We're going to, we're, um, acceptable proof of vaccination is being finalized. Most people will be required to have their vaccination card. Um, they're also working on additional protocols to continue to keep you safe. As far as the shore excursion goes, this is one of the questions people ask, can we do our own shore excursion? For now, out of an abundance of caution, because we wanna make sure that everything goes off without a hitch, we're kind of creating a bubble for our guests, if you will. And so we have curated excursions that are just for our, our customers. So um, you'll see in some of the ports that we visit, they have beach, um, let's say a big beach, beach excursion, you'll have a celebrity sign and an area that's just for celebrity guests. And then again, as we're starting, they're not allowing the back-to-back -back, um, cruises, but as we get in more into the sailings and things are safer, I'm sure that they will lift that. But for right now, out of an abundance of caution, no back-to-backs. So the Celebrity Millennium is going to return to sailing on June 5th, sailing out of St. Martin. And the beautiful thing about these itineraries is that it's not going to the same old places. It's going to the ABC Islands, um, and the ship is going to be departing St. Martin at 10 p.m. So you'll actually have the opportunity to see St. Martin. Now, if you're visiting St. Martin, if you're coming to St. Martin to join the cruise, 
on the day of, you will not be required to pay that additional insurance of $30 because you're considered an in-transit guest. If you're coming in a couple days before, a couple days after, then you will. But if you're coming in the day of, you that, that fee is going to be waived. That's one of the itineraries, Aruba, Curacao, and, and, and uh, Barbados. And then the second itinerary will be the Virgin Islands, St. Lucia, and Barbados, again, departing uh, at 10 p.m. So just to give you a little refresh of what the Millennium ship looks like, the Millennium ship was one of the ships that was newly revolutionized before the pandemic. Um, the ship, it wasn't a refresh and it wasn't a refurbish. It was a complete revolution. Every single stateroom was changed. Um, every single uh, bathroom, everything about the, the ship was redone. So if you look at these color, the color schemes, um, the bathroom, I mean, absolutely stunning. This is a veranda stateroom here that you're looking at a picture of. And also the public spaces, the dining room, before we used to have those dark colors. Now it's, it's airy, it's brighter, it's a lot more light in the main dining room. I always love those floor to ceiling windows. I remember sailing on the Millennium to Alaska and somebody said whale and everybody dressed up like, ooh, everybody just ran right to the front. I mean, it's really funny. Um, but I mean, it's stunning. It's beautiful. And to me, the, the one of the public spaces that it was most changed would be the Ocean View Cafe. Uh, the colors changed, the chairs, the decor, absolutely beautiful. And again, now in the Ocean View Cafe, you won't be serving yourself anymore. There'll be someone that will be serving you um, your food. The revolutionized public spaces like the Sunset Bar, as you sail away, such beautiful, spectacular views from this Sunset Bar. And then the rooftop terrace, you can have your hors d'oeuvres and drinks and watch a nice movie under the, under the uh, moonlight. It is uh, one of my favorite hangout spots, that rooftop terrace. And if you're having a meeting on board or, or a group, it's a great place to congregate. And again, we don't charge additional for, for meeting spaces um, on board the ship. So it's a really nice uh, area to, to be in. More pictures of the revolutionized stateroom, the penthouse versus the veranda stateroom. And then the second ship that is going to be uh, sailing is going to be the Celebrity Apex. And I, I want to stress that this is not a return to service for the Apex. This is actually the inaugural season for the Apex. After a year of waiting, the Apex is part of the story as a destination. So I want to show you everything that we're going to be covering, because I know a lot of people like, I don't want to go to Greece for seven nights, but look how much we cover in seven days. And there are still two sea days that you get to see the ship. Again, the ship is kind of like a destination. So also want to mention that we are the best uh, cruise line in Europe. We've been rated that for the past 11 years. We have all the awards to prove it. Uh, and I just want to show you just some more pictures of um, we're, we're, you know, Greek Isles in Israel that we're going to be visiting. We're doing Jerusalem where three religions coexist, um, Athens, all of these ports. I mean, I'm not going to go through them one by one, but all of these places that we visit and all of the highlights of the places that we go. Like if you want to go to Eastern Europe, you know, there's more open air museum, more archaeological sites, more history and mythology, more natural beauty, more open air. If you like more sophistication, then I would say Western Europe, where you have the Louvre, I can never pronounce it, Louvre Museum, um, uh, more sophisticated history in the arts. And so there's so much to do, whether you choose Eastern or Western, so many beautiful, beautiful places to see. Uh, the, the sunset in Santorini has to be like the highlight of the trip because we, you get to see the sunset in Santorini. Um, in Mykonos, there's this very, I, I don't remember how to say, Sorrow Beach, I believe that's the name of it, where every time I, all my friends or people that have gone to Mykonos always say they see like, you know, very famous people in this beach. It's very popular. Um, it's, it's, it's incredible. Here, let me just show you things to do in Haifa. Um, again, so much to do with celebrity. And the, the excursions that we offer are very, very reasonable. And 
so I want to highlight the ship as a destination because it is going to revolutionize the way you experience the world. And we have all these offerings, right? We have the retreat, which I will be showing you some pictures of what the sweet guest experience. We have the culinary uh, aspect of it, right? It's an adventure. We have Le Petit Chef, where you have the little chef telling you a story of what he's going to cook for you. It's, it's an interactive uh, table uh, that you're looking at and you're watching the little, the little man cook for you. And then the lights turn on and then the, the waiters bring you your, your, your dish. And the first time I saw the menu, I was like, what's well, kind of basic, but the food was so excellent. You will absolutely enjoy it. And it's so good when you go in with, a, you know, you could go with a lot of people or, you know, just your family, but it's so fun and so interactive. Uh, it was my favorite experience on board. Um, the edge when I took my children for Thanksgiving. Um, when it comes to accommodations, right? First ship to have that infinite veranda where with a touch of a button, you're automatically connected to the ocean. And then the entertainment on board. <clears throat> We're the first cruise like to have 18 new shows in 18 months. I mean, really, really have put so much when it comes to entertainment. If you look at this apex theater, there is no curtain. So there, the dancers and singers they're interacting with the audience and really makes you feel like you're part of the entertainment they really draw you in with their performances and the onboard experiences so in the evenings um in the main atrium there's a light show with the that spectacular chandelier you see in the background they put music and it be, and it does a light show with the music and so people love to go there have a cocktail before they go to dinner or come there after dinner or before the show um, beautiful, beautiful space. And then when it comes to wellness, we, I mean, we, we do it right. We have so many offerings in our wellness, uh, spa area, um, that, I mean, especially the people that are in aqua class, they, they, they live in there basically. They absolutely love it. So just wanted to show you this beautiful shot, uh, of the magic carpet. It truly is an architectural wonder. This magic carpet moves from floor to floor, becoming a different destination depending where we are. So on some days, it's an extension of this the specialty dining uh, restaurant called uh, Raw on Five. And you can go out there, you can order hors d'oeuvres, you can have drinks, open air, very nice. In the evenings, it becomes an alfresco restaurant called Dinner on the Edge. Then some days, it's an extension of the pool. And then if you're being tendered to your island, it basically comes down to the first floor and it becomes a platform to assist you into getting into the edge launches. The edge launches are 150, 120 bucket seat, um, fully air conditioned to get you to your island in style. Stunning. And here, the rooftop terrace on, on board the edge, I mean, you can have dinner and watch a movie at the same time. It's absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous, relaxing. You can have a drink. It's at the open air. It, it really is such a beautiful, beautiful area. And the pool, those butterfly wings is so popular. Everybody loves the photo ops there. Um, that that you see there, um, it looks like a champagne glass. That is one of the jacuzzis. You, you, you get into the jacuzzi from the top deck. Um, and then this is the pool area, super functional and spacious and, and absolutely beautiful. Then in the evenings, you have the cabanas that you're able to rent if you'd like to rent the cabanas out. And again, like I mentioned earlier, we are the best cruise line in Europe, 11 years in a row, best award of excellence, best cruise line in Europe, best cruise line in Europe, 2019, 20, and 2020. So it's a... Uh, I, I don't mean to boast, but I'm very proud of my brand. And so talking a little bit about the retreat, it truly is a, a ship within a ship experience. And this is my favorite suite. This is, uh, uh, it's a two-story suite called the Edge Villa. It's 739 square feet. It has a private plunge pool, one bedroom, two bath. It sleeps four, and it has two entrances, one on top and one on the bottom. And when we talk about outward facing design of the ship, this is exactly what it means. You wake up and look at this view. It's just stunning. And if you don't want to have that, you can, those curtains, they close up and it just creates very 
a lot of, you know, it's very dark in the room and stuff like that, but you just press a button and you wake up and you have that view. And I mean, it's my favorite of the suites. And so what our suite guests receive, or like we call it the retreat guests, they have their own private Sunday with plush, stylish furniture, inviting pool, relaxing hot tubs. You have the retreat attendants that help you with your towels, your beverages, your snacks. Absolutely gorgeous. And they also have their retreat lounge, where it's a place where they can unwind in style. They have gourmet bites. I love the 2 p.m. scones. They're my absolute favorite. Um, you have a dedicated concierge that schedules your spa appointments, and they're available to you 24-7. And then Lumine, like I mentioned earlier, this is a private restaurant with exclusive menus, signature craft, crafted by Daniel Balud. It's complimentary to all retreat guests. It is amazing. Daniel Balud is considered one of America's top leading culinary authorities. And we were actually working in a partnership with him now with our newest ship. So, I mean, this is, it's incredible. It's incredible, this, this dining venue. And so I wanted to show you these pictures, the Edge Series Infinite Veranda, uh, concierge and aqua class staterooms, just showing you what the what the what they look like. I'm going to go through these a little quickly because I want to make sure that I'm good with time. This is the Edge Series single stateroom. So you know how people worry sometimes, they're like, we don't want to pay 200%. I'm a solo traveler. Do you guys have single staterooms? The answer is yes. The Apex, the Edge, and Beyond, which is our newest ship that is going to set sail in, in exactly one year, does have infinite veranda staterooms that are single staterooms. Look how beautiful that is. Stunning. And you don't have to pay 200%. It is a single, true single stateroom. So this is the Grand Plaza. Again, this is the heart of the ship. Um, it's three stories. And... You can, whether you're sitting in Cafe El Bacho or you're on the other side, every, you can see everything. It, it, it is really three-dimensional. You can overlook this grand plaza. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. They have, like I mentioned, the choreographed light flare that matches the songs that are playing and then the bartenders doing what they do, which is a wonderful uh, space to 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 sit down and relax and meet people and, and, and make friends. Here's a video of what that space looks like. There's no audio, but I just wanted to share. Um, I didn't put many videos on this presentation because sometimes it lags and you're, not, you're unable to see it, but look at this beauty. Absolutely stunning. There's the there's the the light show. So beautiful. So going right into the destinations for 22 and 23, it's a lot to cover, guys. So what I did is I just put some highlights, not too much. We'll go through it very uh, briefly because I want to make sure I leave questions for Q, uh, you know, time for Q and A. Um, but Europe, we will be in Europe, and this is one of our popular sailings. The Celebrity Edge is doing a 12 night on October 2nd. Again, always included. The price that you get with Tammy includes the drinks, the tips, and the Wi Fi on every sailing. So, this is the itinerary that it's going to do. It'll, it's a round trip Rome, and you see how much it covers, but it does visit uh, Istanbul and the Greek Isles. So, Italy, Turkey, and Greek Isles, 12 night cruise. Beautiful. Also, guys, because I'm going through this presentation fairly quickly, I am going to send a copy of it to Tammy. So that way, if you have any questions, you can always contact her and she'll be happy to help. Uh, this is another uh, one that is very popular. We only have two of them because it's one going and one returning. It's the Greenland and Iceland leaving from Boston, uh, August 19th to the 31st. And you can see the the itinerary places that it stops. And 
another popular one, Scandinavia Russia cruise on board the Celebrity Apex. It's a 12 nighter sailing August 20th. This is all that it's going to cover. Starting sailing out of Amsterdam. And again, if you book your excursions in St. Petersburg through the cruise line, then you you won't have to get your own visas. The, the cruise line gets it for you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Some of these bu some of these bucket list trips. Israel and Mediterranean, again, the celebrity apex sailing on uh, September 23rd to October 5th. Uh, round trip Rome, visiting Cavalon, Athens, Kusadasi, Limassol, Haifa, Shad. Beautiful, beautiful places. Old city of Jerusalem, Israel. I wish I could teleport, guys. Um, <laughs> I'd be there. <laughs> the Celebrity Silhouette. This is another popular one. It's a nine-night Spain and France. A sailing from Southampton. Look at this. And then Alaska. We haven't changed anything in Alaska. We're going to have our same three ships sailing out of Alaska. So the Celebrity Eclipse does round trip Vancouver. The Celebrity Solstice does round trip Seattle. And then the newly revolutionized Celebrity Millennium does the, the Anchorage to Vancouver or the other way around. And this is the product that we use to pair up with our cruise tour product. So here's just one highlight, 790 Eclipse, May 15th to the 22nd. This is what we visit, round trip Vancouver. This is a one-off. It's an 11-night cruise on the eclipse, September 11th. It's it's 11 nights, like I mentioned. It, you see a lot more um, because usually our, our cruises are seven nights, so you get to, to touch more ports on board the Celebrity Eclipse. It's a beautiful shot. Endicott Arms and Dawes Glacier. I think a lot of people haven't been to Dawes, Dawes Glacier. Um, and Again, Alaska is one of my favorite destinations. I never get tired. I think I've gone four years straight. I never get tired of, of its natural beauty. It's incredible. I think that one of my first experiences, the first time that I went to Alaska that we did the, the dog sledding, I always thought, oh my God, poor dogs. Like people are just making them work. And it, no, you get there and these dogs are like, pick me, pick me. They want to go running. They want to do it. And so I just, you know, it, it kind of changed my perception, but it is such a beautiful experience. It, it, it truly is. Um, I was talking earlier to, to one of Tammy's guests and I was telling him that I got to go to Alaska and I sailed on the solstice and I booked the Sky Suite. It was an S1. It's kind of like the one in the back of the ship that wraps around. We had the best views. And at one point, the, 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 um, the captain did a 90 degree uh, turn. So I had... I have such great footage of, of, of the glaciers. It's, it's wonderful. So just more, a Celebrity Millennium open jaw, starting in Sword, ending in Vancouver. And truly, I always like to do, If I always say, if you've never been to Alaska and you go, you have to do it with a cruise tour because you want to be able to see that rugged land and then enjoy your cruise. And I did it. And when I did the cruise tour, I did it that way. I did the cruise tour portion first, and then I did the cruise and ended in Vancouver. So the cruise tour portion, the one I did, I, I flew directly into Fairbanks. Can I tell you how seamless this trip is when you do the, the, um, uh, those cruise tours with us? I mean, from the moment they picked me up from the airport, I never saw my luggage again. I got to the hotel, went in my room, the luggage was in there. When we went on the train, and this train has the 360 degree panoramic views, from the train to the next hotel, my, my, my luggage was already in the room. I saw people toting their luggage around that were booked with other, you know, uh, other cruise lines. And again, the reason we do Alaska so good is we don't have a property, a hotel property in Alaska. We get to pick the best hotel property because if they're not up to par, up to our standards, we can always switch and go somewhere else. A lot of the other companies in our competition, they own hotels there. So the level of service and cleanliness, and it's not up to par with what Celebrity offers their guests. So just um, moving right along so the more beautiful pictures of glaciers, Hubbard Glacier. 
again, the cruise tour, those are the domed rail cars that we get to ride and, and they're, it's clear. So you're able to see everything, take pictures from in there, very comfort. And the food on board the train is very comparable to what you get on board Celebrity. Uh, very, very good food. So this is a new itinerary. We haven't visited Mexico, I think in more than 10 years, Tammy, if I'm not mistaken. We haven't sailed out of, not Mexico, out of LA. We haven't sailed out of LA in more than 10 years. So this is very, um, very new. So for next year, we're gonna be doing seven night Mexican Riviera and eight night Mexican Riviera out of LA. And those are the dates that you see there. If you guys want, you can just take a picture with your cell phone of the itineraries or at the end, if you need me to go back to any slides, you just let me know and I'll be happy to do that. Bermuda, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite places in the world. <laughs> I love Bermuda, guys. I would use, I would get off in Bermuda, go right to the right, buy my bus pass for two days, and I would get lost. <laughs> you know, I, actually, I'd go right to Horseshoe Bay. I would take my take the, the bus and then walk up rent my chair and my umbrella and just sit there and relax. And then in the evenings, I would love to go to Snorkel Beach because they always had a party in the evening. So it would be our ship, other ships that are there, crew members, everybody, just one big party in the island. It was just, I, I love it, so fun. So many beautiful things to see, like the Crystal Caves. Um, they have uh, great restaurants, the food there, the people, the culture is beautiful, beautiful. I love Bermuda. Also Panama Canal. We still haven't confirmed. We're still going through the same locks. We're not going through the new locks, but we do offer the Panama Canal sailing. Um, here's just the itinerary so that you see it goes from LA to Fort Lauderdale and then Fort Lauderdale back. There's also a trans canal that's gonna be available on board the Celebrity Edge November 21st of 22 and December 22nd of 22 um, out of Fort Lauderdale. When it comes to exotics, we have Asia, Celebrity Solstice. We have Australia, New Zealand on Celebrity Eclipse. And here's just some beautiful, beautiful pictures of places that we visit uh, in Vietnam. Vietnam and Thailand. This is the itineraries. More beautiful pictures. I just wanted to add to the presentation. Can't wait to go see those flowers. I'm, I actually booked a trip for February to to do this um, Vietnam cruise. I'm just uh, just waiting to see if I can get some more friends to join me. Best of Japan on board the Celebrity Solstice, uh, 14 night, uh, April 10th. Uh, it's very popular sailing. The inventory is limited because it's very popular, but it really covers a lot. It does cover the best of Japan. Southern Japan on the Celebrity Solstice, 14 nights, March 13th. This is the itinerary and what it covers. Look how beautiful is that picture? Stunning. Sydney, Australia, you know, you gotta start checking off your bucket list, these bucket list trips. We have the Great Barrier Reef Cruise on board the Celebrity Eclipse, which is a 10-nighter. More beautiful photos of places that we visit. The Celebrity Eclipse, 12 nighter from uh, Sydney, going Australia, New Zealand. South Pacific on board the Celebrity Eclipse, it's a 13 nighter. And you can see that the itineraries on both sides. I'll leave it on here in case you want to take a picture of it. Bora Bora, French Polynesia. This is the Hawaiian Trans-Pacific itineraries that we, it's an 18 night cruise on board the Celebrity Eclipse. And then Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This is uh, Patagonia in Chile. We've actually added a third sailing because we always had two sailings, the uh, 
to do the Antarctic cruise. And we've actually um, added a third one. So this is just one of the highlights of it. It's a 14, a 14 night, January 14 sailing on the Infinity to Antarctica. And then the Galapagos trip, again, another bucket list trip. A lot of the people I speak with, uh, they always tell me the same thing. I wish I would have, I wish I would have gone 10 years sooner. Um, it is truly an experience. Uh, it's our highest rated product. Uh, we have a 96% guest satisfaction. And I'll tell you what the 4% that are not satisfied are. So we always stress to our customers that this is a very strenuous trip. And you, although you can do mild or, 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 you know, a little harder, it's still it's strenuous to get on and off, you know, the Zodiacs, you need some upper body strength, you know, so if you're in a, in a, you know, if you use a cane to walk, maybe this is not the trip for you because it it is very, very strenuous. So those are the complaints that we've gotten from people that have gone that, that feel like it's a lot, but um, it is a beautiful, beautiful trip to take the naturalist on board. They're just a wealth of information. You're like, how do they keep all that stuff up there? They know everything about everything. And th these animals, they're there. They're not afraid. They're, they come right up to you. Um, and, you know, we preserve that area. We never go through the same itinerary twice. We do inner loop and outer loop. And the way that we offer this, we started with a 10-night package. So you fly from wherever your hometown is over to Quito. You're in Quito for two nights. And then you fly from Quito over to Baltra. That leg of air is already included in the price of the cruise. And then you do the inner loop or outer loop. And everything is included. All of the shore excursions, the snorkeling equipment, the binoculars, the beverages, the meals, everything is included in this experience. We have three ships that sail there. We have the Celebrity Exploration, which is a 16-passenger catamaran. The Celebrity Expedition, which we used to sail with 100 guests, now we're sailing with 48 passengers because, you know, there is a capacity limit in the Galapagos. So we're saving the more capacity for a luxury ship called the Celebrity Flora, which is the only ship of its kind built in the Galapagos. And every single stateroom on board that ship is a suite. So very, very luxurious uh, way to see the Galapagos, um, but three different options to choose from. So again, we spoke about the 10 starting at 10 night and a lot of people want to extend their trip so they can do from 10 night all the way to 16 night. With the 16 night, what you do is that, again, the two nights pre in Quito, the seven night Galapagos cruise, you spend two nights in Lima, Peru, two nights in Sacred Valley, two nights in Cusco, then one night in Lima and you depart. So, one of the things I want to talk about is the two groups that Tammy has. Tammy, if you can unmute yourself and you could talk a little bit about your groups that you're currently holding and the prices and stuff like that. Sure. Okay, so let me, there we go. And view. Okay, so we've already got four cabins booked um, on this, but it's uh, it's an easy date to remember July 1st and a seven nights round trip Seattle. This is gonna be a great cruise because it's got Dawes Glacier and Dawes Glacier is not a well-known um, glaciers to go visit. So I'm really excited that we'll actually have some passengers from Tammy's journeys to go on, to go on this cruise. Um, easy air to get a round trip Seattle. Um, I would recommend for us to book it through Celebrity Air Department um, because they do have discounted air. It's on the solstice and um, the price is very reasonable. Group pricing especially because our group pricing is the same pricing, refundable deposit, and um, if you booked it online directly with Celebrity, the same rates are non-refundable rates. So our group rates are really a great deal. We've got onboard credits available. Um, there's promotions all the time. So we'll help you get the best promotion possible. As a matter of fact, isn't there a promotion going on right now 
uh, and I don't know when it'll end, where they get um, an additional onboard credit? Yeah, so the that promotion is done, but I did a promotion just for you, just for your guests that are on this call. I was gonna talk about the second group that you had, and then I was gonna go into the promotions, hold on. Okay. So you have a second group. Yeah, the second group is in 2023. So this gives you plenty of time for planning. Um, this one's actually February 24th. Is it a 10 day? Yeah, 10 day, 10 night Eastern Caribbean cruise round trip out of Tampa. I might so, have to escort this group, Tim. Right? <laughs> I might have to come with you to escort this yeah. group. <laughs> right. So it's in a great location. Tampa's easy to get to. The port's easy to get to. We can help you with a pre-night or post-night um, near Ybor City, um, right so outside of Ybor. Do. So much to do in Tampa. I just moved here a year ago, so and I love it. It's beautiful. Right. Um, but great pricing on that. Again, group pricing where it's refundable deposits because the same prices that you'll see on the website, um, those are non-refundable uh, fares, but our refundable uh, deposit fares are the same as the non-refundable fares on the website. So we've got some really great deals. Again, I believe it's a $50 onboard credit as well. And then whatever promotions um, are going on, what we do is we shop for the best promotion for you um, at the time of booking. So um, we'll, we'll do our best to get you the best deal possible. Yes. So for the show, for this show in particular, if you book by May 15, this is what's being offered. If you book uh, a veranda or above on the Millennium or Apex for the 2021 sailing, the Europe sailing or, or Caribbean sailings, you're gonna receive $300 of onboard credit and specialty dining. And if you book seven nights or longer on any other cruise for 22 or 23, I'm gonna throw in an additional $150 of onboard credit. But they must book by May 15th. Once, if you book by May 15th, Tammy will send me the, e the email with the booking numbers and I will add those from my empowerment funds. So great opportunity um, for you because right now, there's nobody else that has this promo. Um, no. You can't get it online um, or anything. So if you're at all interested, um, the, the positive thing is that we can get you, we'll do what we can to get you a refundable deposit. We might have a signature group out there that um, you, we can book you into as well. Uh, what we'll do is we'll shop for the best deal for you. And then, like I said, um, if you qualify for uh, whatever you booked, we'll send your booking over to Joyce and she'll do her magic of giving you additional onboard credit that you wouldn't get normally by just booking it um, directly with the cruise lines. Correct. Correct. And so I, I did all of this here. I wanted to stop the video real quick because I want to share some, uh, for those of you that don't know, Celebrity Beyond, let me stop sharing and then share again. Celebrity Beyond is um was basically uh today we had their the first reveal of celebrity beyond so i want to be able to share that video of the reveal with you guys so bear with me one moment so that you guys can see the brand new ship tammy and you tell me if you're able to see it I, give me I, just one yes. moment give me just yeah. one okay Could you see it? The, could you see it? Yes, I can see it. Okay, here. Is it too loud? I can mute. Joyce will send me the video of this, so I will work out some way of being able to put it on my Tammy's Journeys YouTube uh, page so that you can uh, take a look at this um, at your leisure as well.
it was really fascinating today to listen to all the people that were involved in designing this ship um, on the uh, live YouTube uh, video about the launch of uh, Celebrity Beyond. Well, hey guys, I apologize is. for the noise. I have my neighbors upstairs vacuuming, of course. I mean, if it's not at 6 a.m., it's at 6 p.m., but <laughs> they always do that. Um, let me just go back and share my screen with the PowerPoint so that we can go back and you guys can see. So, Tammy, you said you still have trinkets, correct? Yes, I've got wine and trinkets. So since everybody is local here, everybody, I'm going to make everybody okay, a winner. Perfect. So just stop by Tammy's Journeys and you'll either get a bottle of wine or you'll get a trinket. Um, some of the uh, viewers have gotten the trinket already, so then they'll get okay. the bottle of wine. Uh, but um, I'll have them ready to be picked up anytime tomorrow. I'll go home and uh, dig out the wine and uh, bring the wine available. And then um, I'll have trinkets for everybody who's uh, uh, been here on this webinar. So for summer 2023, uh, when do we anticipate the itineraries will be coming? It'll probably be in November of this year, November, December, usually during the end of the years when they open deployment. Do you guys have any other questions? When did book you were talking on Beyond opens up in spring of next year. Are they online with the itineraries? I hadn't noticed anything yet. Um, I actually have the itineraries. I can share them with you. If you guys are okay with time and you don't mind, I could show you some of the itineraries. I have the, the Beyond Reveal presentation here. I'm planning on... These are celebrity fanatics, so of course they'll have the time. <laughs> Let me just give me one moment so I can pull up the presentation. And so the I Farleys and the Lowers, they are like top notch on the loyalty list of celebrities. So of course they'll want to know what the new itineraries exactly. are. Hold on one second, I will open it up for you now. Um, and, there, and the Beyond is open for sale already. It's, uh, it opened up today at, at 1. Ah. Oh, okay. If you want to make a reservation, you can. Give me just one second so I can show you the itinerary. So, oh, man, it looks like that they, they got some um, great opportunities um, for the single cabins. So anybody who's single, it's a... Um, 
celebrity has great opportunities, so you don't have to worry about paying that 200%. So we can certainly look at those fares for you too. I was wondering, I kind of look at those and uh, they seem to be all uh, already rented out or uh, reserved. Are they kind of held off the side? You don't see them and you have to go well, to a day or something to right get those? Now, right now, no. I mean, if you have a specific sailing and you want me to look it up, I can. Um, oh, okay. What happens is remember that we're doing 50% capacity. So we're not, not all of them are going to be available, you know? Yeah. Can you see who's staffing to the singles? All right. Do you see my screen? Yes. Yes. All right. So this is what it's going to be. This is the deployment highlight. Uh, the maiden voyage will be exactly a year from today, 10 night Western Europe out of Southampton. Um, and then it's going to be doing, it's going to, it's going to be doing nine and 10 night Mediterranean itineraries, overnights in Florence and uh, La Spezia for the very first time. It's going to stay later in Santorini for, you know, so you can experience those sunsets. And then it's going to be doing Eastern and Western Caribbean itineraries. Seven nights is going to be the core and it's going to have two eight night sailings. Uh, the transatlantic is going to be Spain, Lisbon and Canaries from Barcelona over to Cape Liberty, which is Bayonne. So this is what it's, this is the itinerary of what it's gonna look like. Starting April 27th. Then when it does the transatlantic, that's the itinerary that it's gonna do. Do certain level of loyalty members, will they get special invitations for that maiden voyage um, of the beyond? What they do for, for, for uh, loyalty guests, sometimes they, they open up something like 10% discount and stuff like that. But as of right now, because it's a brand new ship and they've opened up and they're, it's on such high demand, they're not really doing anything for, you know, if you have a client that wants to do something on, on that Tammy, I could always add amenities. You can always come to me to give them additional amenities. Well, the two parties that I would think about doing that for are on, on the call. So um, anyway, I, I, have you guys ever gone on a maiden voyage, the Farleys and the Lowers? It's so fun because they give you so many nice trinkets. Like I have bags from, I went on the Quantum for Royal Caribbean when it's maiden voyage and they gave us this beautiful, I still use it, a nice, like like you know bag uh, for travel and it had the the logo and the date and all that it was really beautiful i still i still use it till today um this is the itinerary for this for the the caribbean season um and it's going to do uh, uh bayonne over to fort lauderdale nine nighter southern caribbean and then it'll do uh western caribbean and then eastern caribbean will be puerto plata dominican republic St. Thomas and St. Martin. Yeah. Really great itinerary. I love can the you, Republic. Can you step back to the earlier Excuse slide? Me? Can you step back one slide that showed the European and the... Sure, uh, this that, one? That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, maiden Voyage, 27 April. <laughs> and you, it, it goes to Malta too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a wonderful... So Malaga, 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 Spain. No, uh, Valletta, Malta. I'm sorry. Oh, Valletta. Valletta. Oh, we love Valletta. Mm -hmm. Let me see if it does Valletta. I haven't even looked. Oh, yeah, it does. On the 10 nights, Greek Isles Greek. and Malta. Yeah. It does go to Malta, Valletta. Mm -hmm. And the transatlantic. I live in July. That's where I'm going to go to. Uh, yeah, you can't do that. Are you good with this slide? You can take a picture of it on your cell phone. Got it? Got it. And so this is the Caribbean. Did you get the Caribbean as well? Got it. So these are the itineraries. Just the breakdown. Oh, Joyce, are there group opportunities for um, 
on uh, on the beyond or yeah right now you can um, go and get group space it opened up at one uh, one o'clock okay so what i'll do um i'm going to see the lowers tomorrow night so we can talk a little bit and if you you and the farleys decide that you want to try something on the beyond then what i'll do is i'll get the date and if it's if signature doesn't have a a group on there then i'll start a uh, a Tammy's Journeys group on it, and then we'll I'll, I'll create a flyer, and then we can promote it. Absolutely. Great. Okay. This is the. These are sorry. This is the full presentation of what it is. I'm not going into that with you guys, but I just wanted to show you the itinerary since you asked about it. Thank you. Do you guys have any other questions for me? No, we really appreciate it. This is very informative. Oh, here I am. Okay, there I am. Hey, in the background, I'm in Barbados. That's a picture of Barbados. You know that famous rock that they have yeah. in there? Yeah. So if you've never been to Barbados, Barbados is a, a beautiful island. There's so much to see and do. Lots of history. I didn't realize how much history there was in Barbados. Very interesting. And then the famous music um, entertainer, yeah. Rihanna. Right, she's from there. Yeah, they show you where she grew up, and then they show you her multi-million mansion of where she lives now. It's kind of interesting. <laughs> so, anyway, um, well, I want to thank you very much for your time, and I will.